<laughs> hey, how's it going? Happy birthday. Wait a minute. That, I don't know if it's your birthday, but it's mine. But this isn't like a birthday show off thing. Can you toss me my phone? <laughs> this is not a birthday show off thing. I'm here to kind of, I always play drums, play music on my birthday because I started playing shortly before I turned seven. But And I'm pretty sure I got my first drum set when I was seven. My parents didn't have a lot of money, but they wanted to keep me out of trouble, keep me busy. Some of that worked. And uh, my wife, Anja, thank you, baby, is going to bring me my phone. Uh, chime in. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm in Globe, Arizona, 100 miles east of Phoenix up in the mountains. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, and I'm pulling you folks up on my monitor. I'm going to play on both drum sets today, go back and forth. My big blue one, this little black one. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to celebrate 52 years of playing drums. Don't hold that against me. I know I should be a lot better, but I'm over that. I just want to play and have fun. I'm not working on technique. I don't care if my pinky's not touching the stick. Get over that crap. I just want to play and have fun, and I want you to celebrate with me. And we had a contest where people who commented on the promos for this were entered into a drawing, and every like five songs or so, I'm going to do a drawing. Then we're going to Drum Talk TV shirt, and some poor or lucky person will get to host a show with me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm going to play a song from each of my 25 favorite influences. And there's other influences I didn't list. But these are a bunch of my favorites, one song each. It took a long time to put this together. I want to thank my son, Stephen Schinder, for helping me with it. And uh, my wife, Anja, for taking time to work the camera. We we're hoping to get a multi-camera shoot going, but the software took a dump. And so the cameras are set up, but we're using this one camera. She'll swivel, show the other kids. It's got to be fun. So um, I'm going to kind of welcome you to chime in on the music I'm playing. It's kind of eclectic, maybe sort of to a degree and um uh darn somehow the so i'm gonna play a song from each of my 25 favorite influences and there's other influences i didn't list but these are a bunch of my favorites one song each took a long hold time on to put this together i want to thank my son stephen Sh okay and i don't know why captions are showing I don't know why the captions are showing. That's never been an automatic thing. I think it's in the software that we're using. So anyhow, I'll look at comments in between songs. I'll look at some now. I'll give some shout outs. We'll do a drawing every five or six songs, four or five, six songs, something like that. I'll go back and forth. Little kid, big kid, big kid, little kid, little kid, big kid, little big kid, big kid. And I might even do an encore if it's from a band that's on this list. So I have decided what songs I'm playing, one from each, and this is kind of what's made me a music fan and a musician slash drummer. I did producing. I, I've done it all way back in the day, and now I'm the Drum Talk TV guy, and I get to do this with you folks. So um, there we go. So Stephen will help me keep track of who the winners are when we get to that part, and uh, some of the kids are wishing me happy birthday. <laughs> We've got 11 of them and 19 grandkids. So let's just get started. I'll put my phone right there for now. But let me give some shout outs. Hey, why am I holding the mic when I have this fun thing right here? How do you work this? How does this go? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And thanks for taking time. I don't expect anyone, barely my wife, Enja, to even stay for the whole thing uh, because this is going to take a while to play 25 songs. And on some of the prog bands i didn't pick 20 piece epics but i might do one for the encore hint if you have a prog band that's on the list that you like and there's a cat hair on this mic because it was in my office okay let's see who's here susan sanders hard time finding me oh i'm glad you found me thank you susan uh ooh, sage and sasha sage and sasha do you see that, Steve? Susan is the first one to give a shout out to Sage and Sasha because she saw the promo. So Susan automatically wins a shirt. Private message me. I'm on Facebook. Last name is Schinder, S-H-I-N-D-E-R, or we will find you. Steve, write that down, please. Uh, keep track. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Ashish in Nepal. How are you doing? Jures Nalalamba, thank you so much. Let's get going with song number one. These are sort of in no particular order, um, but sort of in a particular order. Here we go. 
Song number one. You may have heard of this song. Wait, what? And you know what? I'm even going to leave my glasses on. Here we go. So, Good Times, Bad Times by Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin and John Bonham being one of my, are they one if there's four of them? Four of my biggest influences in music and the drums. There you go. Uh, I might have to turn the PA up a little bit, uh, which I'll do when I go to the other, other drum kit. My wife will love that, I'm, I'm very sure. By the way, one drum pedal. One. No double pedal on this, Jason. Just so you know, who feels like dancing? When you dance, what do you dance to? Maybe to the music. In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to show you how to naturally control blood sugar and naturally increase insulin sensitivity. I've got three natural compounds to use today to simply... Wow. Thank you, ads. <laughs> Wi-Fi. It's coming. It's catching up. That might have given the song away, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Bear with me. Bear with me, folks. We got like a lot of moving parts here. Let's reconnect. Uh, why is my birthday so special, my wife asked. Because uh, I made it. So another one. It's my last year in my 50s. 
All right. Well, guess what? We might be doing everything from the other drum kit where the other laptop is. We'll give it one more try. I will uh, check comments in a moment. Thanks for hanging out with me. Isn't technology wonderful? Hey, Brian Cahoon, as she's starting playing live gigs, have fun. Oh, I'm glad you started playing live gigs. Great. Thank you so much, Brian. Oh, your birthday's on the 21st, Susan. Very nice. Very cool. Brad Burge, thank you. Wayne, everybody, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's see if I can get the music playing from here. Otherwise, I'm just going to do everything from the other, um, other kit. Mike Green, what's happening? Tell Sasha we said hi. <laughs> All right, this is not connecting. One more try. And otherwise, I'm just going right over there to the other drum set where there's another laptop that's a little bit more reliable. This one's about to become a paperweight or an RV tire stop. All right, so what we're doing, let's move over there. All good. Come on with me, folks. Just swing over there. I'll be right there. there All right. We're moving over to the big kit where there's a more reliable laptop. So let me just hook the sound output into this. One moment, please. I, mean, I was hoping to show off that, yes, I can play on a four-piece kit. I don't know why some people say to big kit people, or someone doesn't know how to plan a four piece just because they have a big kit. This has got to be one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. One of. There are many. All right. In some ways, this will be easier. Give me a second. All right, I'm used to talking to this camera, which we don't have connected at the moment. Okay, how's it going? Let me just get situated and we are going to rock 24 more songs, I promise. Got my list, in case I forget. I don't know how that would happen. The set list is right in the playlist on YouTube. I'm going to pull up the show here as well so I can see you lovely folks. Feel free to share this with fellow music fans. I will check comments again after this song. Here we go with another influence of mine from way back in the day when I was a kid and first started playing. Okay, let's do this again. All right, one more thing real quick. And again, thanks for joining me. If you're a Drum Talk TV fan, if you've seen interviews and documentaries, tell us what your favorite has been, whether it's an interview or a documentary, someone that you've seen featured. I'm just moving another monitor over here. And uh, so, okay, I can sit in one place. That's fine. Here we go. I'll check comments after this song. Oh, okay. Here we go. Thank you. 
session ends with that little drum thing, which is cool. So my wife is doing sign language, and I think it's in the red. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so that whole song is gain on. Okay, so that might have been a little distorted. Sorry, folks, I'm going to adjust the gain on the mic. <laughs> hey, lots of other fun music on this list, I promise. Something for everyone. There you go. That ought to be a lot better. Okay, so moving on. So, so far we've done... So far, we've done Led Zeppelin. We did Fly in the Family Stone. To get an idea of my, a bit of my eclectic influences growing up in Los Angeles in the mid to late 60s, music wasn't segregated by genre. A pop station was a pop station. So you'd hear Sly in the Family Stone, you'd hear Neil Diamond, you'd hear Led Zeppelin, you'd hear the Rolling Stones, and then you'd hear Robert Streisand, and then you would hear. Uh, you know, uh, name it, Chicago, it just goes on and on. So that's, I grew up listening to all that kind of music. Now for something really completely different. Um, and I'm going to tell you how this came about. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you who this is. I'm going to play a song by Royal Crown Review. Hello, Daniel Glass, good friend, great drummer. Royal Crown Review is uh, responsible for bringing back the big band swing revival about 20 years ago or whatever it was. The way I found out about them was I had a cooking show on TV. Yes, that's not a typo. I had a cooking show on TV, and there's something about it in that little list of facts about me. So I wanted swing music, and I asked a friend of mine who was a little bit more hip to the current scene at the time than me, and I asked him, you know, who would you suggest? He says, well, you got to have Royal Crown Review. I'm like, who's that? He's like, oh, my God, you don't know? I'm like, no, I don't know everybody. Sorry. And so he, he said they're mo the most authentic and and so I totally got into them. So this is my favorite song and my wife's favorite song by Royal Crown Review featuring Daniel Glass on the drums. Here we go. I've never even heard this version all the way through. It's a live version. Let's see what happens here. Was that better?
out. That's what Andy said. All right, next. Is he drawing time? Is that why you got the hat? Yeah? Okay. Angie says it's drawing time. Let me rewind this next song that started all on its own. How's everybody doing? How you feeling? What's going on? What are you doing? And one sec. Just got to bring up the comments so I can see. All right. Let's see what else is on here. By the way, I'm going to give everybody. Oh, that's cool, Wayne. Awesome. <laughs> Modern tech nightmare stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, good. I'm glad the drum kit sounds good. The black one or the blue one, Ashish? Hopefully both of them. <laughs> That's great. Uh, awesome. Pepe. Okay. Uh, my other inspiration was Buddy Rich, world's best jazz drummer. Uh, Dan can't hardly hear me. Hopefully you can now. Could you hear while I was playing? Chime in. Were you able to hear while I was playing? Let me just see if my son is texting me saying, hey, Dad, we can't hear you. But I don't see that. So, okay, cool. Let's have the hat. So, Angie's bringing me a hat that has all the names of people who commented on the posts that said comment with a suggestion. And if you comment, this is what happens. You end up in the hat. I'm going to pull a name, and that person wins a shirt. My son, Steve, about 532 miles away, is keeping track of the winners. And then I'll reach out to you. You can... Feel free to uh, short circuiting here. Feel free to message me through Facebook. And if we're not connected, I might not see it right away, but I'll look for you as well. So here it goes. I'm going to look away. Can you folks hear me? Let me look at the. You guys can hear. Okay, good. All right, cool. The list of artists is on the list. Look at the list in the post. I'm playing from that list and that list only. And it's, I think I have one piece of paper. I'm going to hand it to my wife to read. I'm not even going to look at it. And I give you the. Do you want me to read it? Okay. Oh. That name sounds familiar. It is Rick Orbenshane. Orbenshane. Rick Orbenshane. How you doing? Ooh, he suggests. He suggested Pictures of Home by Deep Purple. Hmm, we shall see if it's on the list. Deep Purple's on the list, or he wouldn't have known to do that. So, honey, maybe you can show that to the camera, just so that people know that is indeed the winner, and I'm not just making stuff up here, not just picking family members. They don't get a shirt. they got to buy it. By the way, if anyone buys a shirt, all that money goes to the American Diabetes Association. And Anja is... <laughs> <laughs> doing the ticker tape of the name. So there you go. Cool. Next. Um, the black drum kit blue one is too good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, good. I'm glad you folks can hear it. Thanks for chiming in on that. The next song is a very special influence of mine. It's it's Alan White and the band Yes, the cla what's known as the Classic Night lineup. This is from the tour the first year I saw them, which was 1978. And this song is appropriate, I think, for my birthday because it's called Future Times, Looking Ahead. I'm 59 today. I'm looking forward to the 60s and 70s and beyond. We'll see how that goes. And uh, so it's two parts. It's Future Times goes in to rejoice. This has some really neat drumming by Alan, but also some great, great locking in parts on the bass, too. Uh, so here we go. Thanks again for joining me, folks.
Absolute faves. And for those of you who don't know, my son Stephen and I have a podcast slash vlog. It's on anchor.fm slash yes shift or on our Facebook page, yes shift. And we're going to be um, interviewing the authors of Yes in the 80s next this month and on April 13th on both Drum Talk TV and Yes Shift simultaneously. We're interviewing Bill Bruford, one of my biggest influences. I got something from Bill loaded up. Oh. And um, we also, uh, <laughs> I recently read something. We, we had Oliver Wakeman on recently, and we said, what's one of your favorite, your favorite album or thing that your dad played on, Rick Wakeman? He said, it's not very popular, but Tormato. I really like Future Times. And I said, me too. And um, I read <laughs> recently <laughs> that Alan... Alan said that was kind of like a throwaway album, but the tour was amazing. I saw it on both legs in 78 when they came back in 79, first in the round tour, and <laughs> I love those two songs. So it's weird to hear anyone use the term throwaway album, with one exception, three people who can get away with that. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer screwed one of the record companies when they held them. They wouldn't let them out of a contract till they did one more album, so they <laughs> recorded Love Beach and uh, just pick it up and you'll get what I mean. All right, as we move on, um, how many more songs before the next drawing, hun? Okay. 
Okay, four more. So really? Okay, four more songs, and we'll do another drawing. Hang in there. Um, this song is. Um, oh yeah, so this song. This is a, a a big song for me when I was a kid. This was always on the radio all day long, heavy rotation, on and on. I don't remember. Hey, hon, do you remember what year Pick Up the Pieces came out? Average white fan? Yeah, sometime in the, I'd say early to mid, late 70s, that late? late 70s. Gosh, I feel like I was younger when I was playing to it. Was, was it considered disco? Well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and my wife was <laughs> dancing to Royal Crown Review in a moment ago. So this is a really fun song to play. I don't know if I'll get it. I've played it once uh, in the last 40 years, I think. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's a fun song, though. Pick up the pieces by Average White Band, and they are not average. You know what they say? two months. What the F is going on? <laughs> really? Come on. I gotta put my glasses on real quick. Oh boy. I mentioned there's a big ass house for sale right now. I mentioned that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over to the show, look at your comments. When the music starts playing, I'll jump back in. Wow, this is ridiculous. All right. Thank you so much. Stephen Schindler chimed in and said, pick up the pieces by Average White Band came out in 1974. 1977 was when the album of the same name by the Royals came out. Interesting. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. No worries. Watch it back, please. Okay. So let's spin back and see if this will play. Refresh the page. Thanks for being so patient. Unreal, this Wi-Fi here. It's loading. It's loading. 
Is that other computer closed? Yeah, it is. Oh, you know what? Let's turn off. All right, hold on here. All right, so what I'm going to do is turn off a couple of these other devices that might have something to do with it. So sorry, just bear with me. Lots of new tunes. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Tur turn that off, that off, the one behind you. I I'll, I'll won't worry about that one for now. And uh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to just jump right back in, folks. two parts. <laughs> Man. Okay, I think we got it worked out. Thank you for hanging in there, all three of you. We appreciate it. Let's see what's next, what's next, what's next is, it's not time for a drawing yet, is there? Okay, so this song is short. This is a very short version of this next song, but for this next band, I wanted to pick something unique. And that's not it. It's this one. Okay, I got to pause it. And my wife is going to tell her favorite drum talk TV story or something while I tighten something. Yeah, you can even come out in front of the camera. Your favorite drum talk TV story or NAM show story or something, anything. She's going to keep you occupied while I tighten something. Be right back. Oh, boy. Okay. There he goes. It's always putting me on the spot. All right, favorite drum talk TV story. And let's see. Um, no, I'm not going. I don't have, listen, I'm not fabulous right now. So, anyway, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Uh, uh, anyway, excuse me. So, uh, the first time we went to Singapore, and I remember Dan telling me, oh, people walk up to me and recognize me. I was like, really? Okay, well, if you say so. And didn't even, um, excuse me, anyway, I didn't really kind of believe him, kind of, sort of, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I, <laughs> first time we went to Singapore, and then these people ran up to him, and I was like, drum, they said, drum talk TV, drum talk TV. I was, I was so shocked and amazed that that actually happened, because, you know, to me, Dan is, you know, he's just Dirty Dan that I hang out with. Hold on a sec. I was like Elvis there. <laughs> All right, without the pooping in my pants. Okay, so this next band, you may or may not know. I'll just give it all away. I'll give it away. It's Black Sabbath was an influence of mine. Bill Ward, great jazz drummer like Mitch Mitchell, like um, their forefather, Ginger Baker, who turned rock. And like, like all those guys of that generation, because there was no rock before them. So I want to pick a unique Black Sabbath song. 
I could not find a good version of it. So what I stumbled on was a bootleg video of Zach Wild with his band, a three-piece called Zach Sabbath. And I'm waiting for the singing to come in, thinking a singer's going to come on stage, and Zach is singing it. It's a cool-ass song, and it's called Super Knot. And when it goes into the drum part that Phil does, I'll do it for a while by myself. Then I'm going to start because then the stop that because the guy does a drum solo. So this is Super Not, possibly one of my top two or three favorite Black Sabbath songs. An homage to Bill Ward, even though he's not playing here. It's coming, it's coming. Really a cool song. to Bill Ward. <laughs> That's uh, Super Not. Love that song. The real studio version is amazing. Get Black Sabbath 4, put that on, dance to it. You can't help but dance to Black Sabbath, right? And if that's the song you're going to dance to, that's it. That and the Mob Rules featuring um, J Ronnie James Dio and Finney Apsey, of course, in the live version. Okay, let's see. Is it time for a drawing yet or no? Got two more songs. Okay. So let's see who we got. Uh, oh, volume three. I think it's on volume four, Brian. Pretty sure. Um, awesome, good stuff here. Okay, 
let me see what is next. Thanks again for joining me. I appreciate it, all, all three of you. Thank you. Next, we have, oh, this is a toughie. <laughs> I don't know why I added this song, because I've never gotten it right, and this is a crap recording. But I had to, I know why I added it, because I, I had to play Jethro Tull. And while Don Perry is a good friend of mine and uh, the longest sitting drummer of Jethro Tull, I picked something from before Don, long before Don, because this was my father's favorite. Yeah, this is my father's favorite Jethro Tull song. Uh, this one, and without counting acoustic songs, even though this has an acoustic bit. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll start it and talk over some of the acoustic stuff. Uh, my dad, Doug, um, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and Jethro Tull particularly, and EOP as far as, and Leonard Skinner as far as rock bands go. But this song, the studio version's great. It's not easy to play to on any instrument. So why I picked this, I'm not sure. Can you hear it? It's uh, Minstrel in the Gallery. It's not easy. Hopefully I'll get all the hits, but Barrymore Barlow, one of my biggest influences when I was younger, great drummer. And of course this year is the 50th anniversary of the Ludwig uh, Vistalite series. And Barry had a kit that was from six inch to 18, double bass, and it was a clear blue Vistalite. Wonder where that kit is. Uh, just a really, really great drummer. And he also um, played flute, believe it or not. Uh, there's one thing, I got something in my eye, sorry. There's one thing in the live version of uh, Songs to the Wood that he plays, but here we go.
actually a medley version. It goes into a whole other thing. A little taste of another one of my big influences, Jethro Tull. And the next one is a really cool song. You might be surprised that this is one of my influences. As my favorite female vocalist as a guest, it's Olita Adams with Tears for Fears and Batman song. Manu Kache is the original drummer on this.
is staring at me with the hat. So I think that means it's time to draw another. Okay, let me take a sip. I'll check comments in a moment as well. Then we'll go to the next song. Let me pause this. Okay, there we go. One sec, please. Boy. Whew. Okay. Lots more. I think we're like halfway through. No, we're not even halfway through. Oh, Jesus. No one's going to hang out for this. If you do, though, you win. You're a winner. You're a winner. All right. Let's see what we got. So this is for shirt number two. And Steve, check the comments to see if anyone else chimed in with an Easter egg from the description on the promos. I know that uh, Susan got one for the Sage, Sasha and Sage thing. It's funny, Steve called me this morning. He says, what if they just say Sasha? What if they just say Sage? I said, well, it says they have to give a shout out to both of them, so they have to say both of them. And Sasha, Susan got it. I almost said Sasha got it. <laughs> All right, it's this one. And I'm not even going to look. I'm going to hand it to my wife, and then I'm going to Hand her the microphone. Go ahead, Wes. Robert Heckman. Oh, cool. Robert Heckman, who's also a big fan of Yes Shift. Thank you, Robert. I think I forgot you even followed Jump Talk TV. I'm so used to seeing you comment on um, the Yes Shift stuff. And what is the song that he suggested? Oh, so his his um, suggestion was My God by Jethro Tull, which I did not play, but that's okay. All you had to do was comment on the promo post with a suggestion, and then you're entered for the drawing. I pulled out a bunch of names. We put a bunch of names in. I pulled one out. Robert gets it. Thank you, Robert. All right, next is, oh, the <laughs> oh wow, I don't know about this one. Um, I might skip this one only because I'm afraid the algorithm will snag it. But let me look at comments first. Oh, Jerry says, Barry Mitchellock says that rocked. Thank you very much. I love that that song. I love that song. Um, let's see. Glad to see you on the drums having fun. Thank you, Richard Weiland. Thank you so much. Uh, Brian's voting for Aqualung, but I already did the Drum Talk TV song. I mean, the Jethro Tull song, the Drum Talk TV song. Jeez. Uh, watching America Moxie simultaneously hard to do, I bet. That's hilarious. Ashish, cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> nice, Richard Weiland. Thanks. Let me scoot up. Just I don't want to miss any other. Okay, next. Um, let me think. If I do this... <sighs> You know what? I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to skip this. What I was going to play is um, it's a BBC broadcast, so it might have gotten snagged. It's a Gentle Giant song called Free Hand from 1978. Look it up on YouTube. The whole concert's there. I, I John Weathers, him and Greg Erico are the funkiest white men on the drums ever. John Weathers in a prog rock band, so funky. I think he's Welsh. I have reached out. Hopefully, John will come on the show. Huge influence of mine. This one, you will, well, maybe not. I shouldn't assume. This one, uh, finally, folks, if you've been waiting for a Rush song, this is it. And this is one of my favorite Rush songs to play. It's a live version from the tour of Power Windows. It's a song called Middle Town Dreams. <clears throat> I'm going to take one more sip of my magic liquid, which is Tension Tamer, iced tea, brewed cold, or brewed and chilled. And then I've got my orange flavor, amino acids, and electrolytes, and then I've got a muscle recovery powder. I don't even remember what it is. Some cinnamon and uh, organic beet powder. There you go. That's my super Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. Hold on, and here we go with some Rush. And you'll see most of this in YouTube. Just like the last song, but totally different, right? from the beginning.
think I need a sip of something after that. Hold on, please. How, how's it going? How are ya? How are ya? As they say in Tarana, where a couple of those boys are from, right? Get my glasses so I can see what's up. Sorry that I, when I turn to read the comments, have my back to you, but I'm used to being able to use this camera up here. Let's see. Ooh, play the long version of Make Me Smile, Chicago. That would be awesome, but I don't have that one queued up. I will play that sometime. On Danny Seraphine's birthday, I'll play everything. Uh, not everything. I'll play a bunch of Chicago. Thank you for that, Jerry. Olaf, how are you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Brian Cahoon is showing an anger face. The blender just puked. <laughs> Uh, Tony, I played Good Times, Bad Times is the very first song. When we're done, not now, Tony, not now. When we're done, please rewind and play that from the beginning. I played it on my small kit, which is back there. And um, let's move on to the next song. Here we go with, and we still got a couple more shirts to give away. Ooh, this is a good one. Hopefully, uh, I'll remember this version. I'm going to play two songs by this band because... It's the 50th anniversary this past week of Machine Head by Deep Purple. So um, I'm playing two songs. Here comes the first one. Okay, hopefully uh, this goes well. <laughs> Here we go. It's funny to see not funny. It's fun to see my wife kind of jiggling her stuff behind the camera there to rush and Black Sabbath, all these bands. Oh, I, I meant to mention, if I may, about, yeah, <laughs> dance to the music I played earlier. Can I say it? Can I tell them? Yeah, that wonderful deep voice and that awesome bass playing. The man who invented slap bass, Larry Graham, that's my wife's cousin. Here it comes, folks. I banged my finger again. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, this might get snagged. If it goes mute, just please hang in there. I won't know till after. That's a crap version. I, I can't even I can't even hear. Let's do the next one. Wow, what a kind of a boner killer there. That's that's just way too mushy. I apologize. I can't hear what's going on. It's 
wow. I'm so sorry. I really wanted to play that song. We're going to play one that was suggested by one of the shirt winners, though. That's embarrassing. I might play the real version from uh, Made in Japan last, just so that if it gets muted, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow, there's like no uh, warning there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to have to jump in. Ian Pace has been on the show twice. He's one of my biggest influences.
pictures from home. So the song started right before the intro, or right at the intro. <laughs> I had to I had to jump in and miss like half of it. All right. Next. Oh, this is cool. This one features This is another artist being featured twice um but in two different bands. Phil Collins, Robert Plant's first like five solo albums were also a very huge influence on me musically. And uh, Phil Collins played all but two songs on both the first and all but two songs on the second album as well. On the first album, Cozy Powell played on two songs. On the second album, Barrymore Barlow, who I played already, played on two of the songs. But Phil plays the majority of both those two albums. This is Pledge Pin. <laughs> Another not so great bootleg. So why am I playing the bootleg versions? Because if I play to the original version, It'll get snagged and muted and everything. So that that's why. It's kind of a challenge um, in a lot of ways. So this is Pledge Pin. Sometimes these songs are at different speed. Uh, I don't know that remember the ending of a certain version or something, but, but that's okay. It's all about like the, the meat of the song and the fun of playing, which is what I'm doing. I always like to play on my birthday. This time I invited you in. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me check comments before we go to that <laughs> next song. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Lazy is my favorite with Highway Star. Me too. I love Lazy. I actually covered Lazy on a big band album that I wrote and arranged and produced. I produ uh, arranged it with Frank Macchia, who at the time was the horn arranger of the Tonight Show band. And he also did a bunch of the arrangements uh, for Woodwinds on Yes's Magnification. And this is way back in 1999, lifetimes ago for me. Um, Pictures at 11, yeah, related to pictures from home, right? It's the album Pictures at 11, Pledge Pin. Here we go. Bloodsucker is a great song. I won't play more Deep Purple, though. I'm playing one song from each of my top influences. Um, the Sneaking Out the Back Door. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. That's funny. <laughs> Knocking at Your Back Door is a great song. Okay, let's go over to... Where'd it go? Robert Plant. Okay. All right. It might jump in right away, too. So hold your horses. Let me get set up. Yeah, it does. So I'm going to jump right in. This is live in Canada back in 83. Wow. Robert Plant with Phil Collins on drums. Pledge pin. <laughs>
Hedge Pin. Maybe my favorite Robert Plant solo song from that era, from his first two albums, which I kind of grouped together. Um, is it time to do another shirt, or how many more songs do I have? What? One more song, then we draw for another shirt, Drum Talk TV shirt. You get to take your pick, one of three dozen designs. Ooh, this is a great song. I hope this song resonates with all of you. Peter Gabriel, big influence on me, not just with what he did in the very early years of Genesis. I almost said yes, <laughs> of Genesis, but um, from that point on, just a brilliant lyricist, a brilliant composer, a brilliant songwriter, brilliant producer, brilliant singer, brilliant songwriter. This is a fun song. Big time. Hi there. This is live.
big time by Pete Gabriel. Ooh, that will do something totally different or not. Depends on how you look at it. Music's like that. Sometimes you know it, <laughs> and you just spilled a bunch of the names out of the hat. Get them all. Get them all. This is for another Jump Talk TV shirt. If you um, commented on one of the promos during the week for this, the instructions were to simply comment with a song suggestion from the list of bands in the post. You don't have to get the suggestion right. I don't have to play the suggestion. I might have played it already. You might have played a different song from that band. The point is that you commented. You get entered like this, and I won't look. This is for another shirt. I'm going to look away, and we're going to choose. I think I have just one. Yeah, just one, and I'm going to hand it to Enja, my wife. Here you go with the mic so she can read the name. Oh, she's making a scrunchy face. Want me to read it? Trade. <laughs> Okay, she'll show it on camera. Oh, well. Ooh, no. Oh, that's a great song, too. <sighs> Claudio. Claudio Felinto Dantas. Thank you. Ciao, ciao so much. Thank you. Grazie, grazie. And the song that Claudio suggested for the ELP that's on the list is Carnival Nine Second impression and what's cool about that is most people don't play it but i do but i'm it's not the song i chose for today and just gonna show it but it goes like this here i'll play a little bit of it myself and everyone involved I wouldn't add any long songs to this but I will play all three impressions soon watch for that um, Stephen can chime in in the comments Steve remind me when we did Carl Palmer's birthday and Keith Emerson's tribute did, did I play all three impressions just first and I think I just played first and third but I'll, I'll do that Claudio thank you so much for following what we do you have a shirt coming to you Private message me on Facebook. I'm easy to find. Um, and otherwise, we'll find you. Um, so here we go. Maybe, Steve, you could save me the URLs. I should have thought of that earlier. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. Next, you will all know this song. And this is a nod to several drummers because this band used several drummers. They became known as a studio band only before they ever played live. And they were a super group made up of studio musicians. Not, not um, the Wrecking Crew. This came later. This is West Coast. This is Steely Dan. And the drummer that played originally on this song was a great Bernard Purdy. But I have to say, Bernard, Jeff Porcaro, whose birthday was yesterday, April 1st. Steve Gadd is coming up on the 9th. Jim Keltner played on song. Josie, Peg, Kid Charlemagne. Um, so many great songs that I grew up with. And the song I chose is Kid Charlemagne with Keith Carlock playing with them live. And I've never played to this version. Let's see what happens. Hey, I live on the edge. Are you okay, hon? Okay. Waved me off, folks. Waved off by the wife. Here we go.
saxophone solo there at the end, and then guitar. All right, next we have um, this. This goes way back to my young, young, young days. Um, hopefully, this won't get snagged and muted. It's not a long song, so if it does, uh, please hang in there. Um, and then we're gonna play something completely different. Um, there's, I think, another shirt drawing after this song. I, I think. We'll see. Danny Seraphine. <laughs> Ninja has a Danny Seraphine story. You want to tell it? <laughs> She's shaking her head. She's embarrassed. First of all, going back to an Ninja story in Deep Purple while I tighten something, something up again. Um, so Ian was on the show for the second time, and then we went to the show, and of course he hooked us up, and we met with him afterwards. He didn't like being in a room full of people that was noisy. He pulled us into sort of a secret room. And uh, Don Airy walks by reading the newspaper, comes in, says hi. Um, Steve Morse is there talking to a couple people. And as soon as someone took a breath, I held my hand out and said, hey, Steve, I'm Dan Schinder with. And he said, I know, Drum Talk TV, I follow you. I'm like, what? But Roger Glover came in, and when I, as I was introducing him to Encha, his eyes went all starry-eyed, like he just got hit with an elephant tranquilizer and lifted her hand gently and kissed the top of her hand. Uh, I think he had a crush, but you, you have kind of a spiritual crush on Danny Seraphine. Talk about the first time you, you met him. 
yeah, I did. I didn't think you were going to tell everybody, Dan Schinder. But anyway, yeah, uh, we're both New Yorkers. So every time we bump into each other at the NAM show or, or if it's after a show, we, uh, we talk New York stories together, which is really cool. And yeah, just talk about, you know, when you're growing up in New York and just having a good time. But he's such a cool guy. And the one thing that I always know about drummers, which I didn't know until Dan started <laughs> going all over the place <laughs> with Drum Talk TV, is that they're all such cool people. And I one day I asked him, I was like, well, why are drummers just so, they're just so chill? They don't get upset. They just relax. And he says, because they bang things <laughs> for a living and they get all the aggression out that way. So maybe that's what it is. But every drummer that I've met has always been just just the nicest guys, really. And ladies. <laughs> and ladies, too. <laughs> well, I'm, we're not in, I'm not too sure about that one. Yes. <laughs> so Mr. Kind Eyes, that's the name <laughs> Encha gave to <laughs> Danny. So I'm Dirty Dan, and he's Mr. Kind Eyes. Can you please get me my other drink back there behind the other drum? Th can you please get my other drink behind the other drum set? Okay. Thanks. Okay, so now we're going to do something totally different, um, f featuring another drummer twice with two different bands and totally different kind of music, too, which I love. I love that when we can be versatile, right? Broaden your horizons. Quick sip. One moment, please. Talk, about, talk amongst yourself. I'm actually, is it time for a, uh, it's shirt time, I think, right? We just played Chicago, so I think it's time for a shirt. Oh, three more. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll get there, folks. I'll check comments in a moment. One sec. song has a very special dedication, but first, let me spin and look at comments real quick. Um, thank you, Alex Sebastian. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you very much, Susan. <laughs> yes, that was your pick. Amy, how are you? Thank you. Groove How do you pronounce your last name, Amy? Spell it phonetically. Is it, is it Driz? Dezera? Dezera? Is that it? I hope that's it. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Sylvan says he loves Mano Catch. He played on three songs on the Secret World World Tour, and he's on some of Peter's stuff as well. Absolutely. He did a great job with Tears for Fears. Oh, Get Him Out by Friday. Ah, oh, I love that song. I played that on uh, Phil's birthday last. We did a tribute, and I love Get Him Out by Friday, Return of the Giant, Hogweed, Watcher of the Skies, all that old stuff. Amazing drumming on that, right? Cool. Thank you, Sylvan. Thank you, thank you. You were there for that Robert Plant show, Sylvan. Yeah, in Montreal. Awesome, Hoser. Or, er, mate. Yeah. On Made in Japan. Yeah, I might play the Made in Japan version when we're done, just to blow the lines out, if you will, to get Highway Star out of my system. But now we're going to play something that has a special dedication. As you know... And I don't want to get all political, and I'm not. But as you know, there's a bunch of stuff going on in the world right now. And there's two young men, two brothers that we have featured over the years on Drum Talk TV, Daniel and Ilya Voilomarefev. I hope I'm pronouncing their name right. And they're in Ukraine. They're in Kiev. My grandparents were from Ukraine. They were Russian, but born in Ukraine, just like being Italian, but born in America. And my grandfather lived in Kiev. And these, these young men are toughing it out with their family in Kiev. They're still there, being bombed on. And this song came out in, uh, Steve, when did Asia's first album come out? Please chime in. I'm going to say 82, 83. And um, this song is still pertinent to what's going on right now, unfortunately. So Daniel and Ilya, my love goes out to you and your mom and your dad and stay safe, please. This song is called Wildest Dreams because let alone in the early 80s, let alone now, 
in the early 2000s in our wildest dreams. We never thought we would see this crap still going on. <sighs> wildest dreams, Asia, Carl Palmer, John Wetton, Jeff Downs, and Steve Howe.
bitch. Your one song I'm playing with double bass. Just in the film. All right. So next is also Carl Palmer. Here's a fun instrumental. I want everyone to stand up. Stand up and do a jig to this, especially my wife. Come on, let me see you jig to this. All right, here we go. You'll know this song if you're an ELP fan. <laughs> Um, our next prog drummer is um, Bill Bruford. Bill Bruford, who's going to be on Drum Talk TV and Yes Shift, a show I do with my son. Bill Bruford, April 13th at, I believe, Steve will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe at 11 a.m. Pacific. 2 p.m. Eastern U.S. times, Bill Bruford live. 
on the Drum Talk TV and Yes Shift Facebook page. Is that right, Steve? So I have the times right? Um, the 13th is easy to remember because it's uh, one of our many children's birthdays. <laughs> Samantha, who Samantha, by the way, put together the set list I'm doing April 25th as a tribute to Taylor Hawkins. She's a huge Foo Fighters fan, so I asked her to put that list together, and she did. All right. Um, here we go with um, my favorite, eh, one of my very favorite, um, I'm going to look at comments, King Crimson songs called Thila Hun Ginshit. Thila Hun Ginshit, Thila Hun Ginshit, which basically means um, kind of a, it's, it's sort of gang slang for um, back alley Gun carrying, yeah, that kind of thing. I, f I actually forgot what language. Might be Chinese or Taiwanese. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. Um, oh, you saw Bill with Earthworks. Awesome at the Montreal Jazz Festival. You guys get a lot of great music out there. <laughs> Klaus, Klaus, Gerd Brachos. Thank you so much, Klaus, for joining us. Klaus is a bit hectic. Yeah, that's hoedown, all right. <laughs> Very cool percussive journey. Thank you, Michael. All right, thanks everybody. Thank you, Brian Kuhn, for joining us. Here we go with Thila Hungenshit. Um, this is a fun one. I'm going to stoop down and fix something real quick, though. Eh, we'll leave it. It's fine. All right, here we go. Oh, wonderful. The speaker came unplugged. Hold on. <laughs> what a goof. Hold on. And we have Thila Hunganchi, Thila Hunganchi. There we go. We're back. One more time.
Adrian Ballou there. Adrian Ballou. All right, we are winding down. Um, <laughs> this was a toughie. Oh, Encho says, okay, another shirt drawing after this one. Uh, this is a neat song featuring Terry Bozio. Who can guess the band? Terry Bozio. Uh, oh, that's cool. Sylvan Gagnon says, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Bill Bruford was why I drum now when he played on the Yes albums. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for the compliment. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Thank you, everybody. Here we go with Terry Bozio. Terry Bozio. This is a toughie. Why am I doing this song? I, I don't even know. Why am I? My la wife's laughing at me now. Why am I doing this? This is a tough one. A tough one. See, I tend to pick songs that are I haven't played in a long time. I don't have time to work on my craft, and I'm okay with that. It's not what I do now. But I want to encourage people to just play and make videos and send them in. Play and make videos and send them in. Play and make videos and send them in. DrumTalkTV.com. Click on the top right. Video submissions and photo submissions now. Give us a tour of your kit. Talk about your gear. Play to your favorite songs, but not the official version. Play with other musicians. Send in your videos. Get featured. We are the largest online media platform covering the world of drumming. Steven, maybe you can drop that full call to action of submitting videos into the comments and pin it to the top, please. Here we go. Tribute to Terry Bozio with UK. More John Wetton. John Wetton on bass and vocals. Terry on drums from Frank Zappa and Missing Persons. Eddie Jobson on electric violin and keyboard. This is a tough one. And my arthritis is kicking in big time. something really weird going on with a speaker here. Hold on. Sorry. One sec, folks. I apologize. I have something really bizarre going on with the speakers where it's only bass coming through. <laughs> I don't think I blew anything. Let's try it on a different song and see. Give me a sec. Sorry, I got my back to you. Sorry. Now it must be that recording. Wow, okay. So we're gonna skip ahead, sorry about that. Yeah, we'll do the drawing. Yeah, that recording was all based out. I didn't know that for a moment. I thought I blew something, but I didn't. I will put another show together 
of all Terry Bozio stuff because I didn't know that that was so blown out. It didn't sound like that on my computer up in my office. Um, one sec. I'm queuing up the next song, which will be the last song, because I'm sure no one's going to ask for an encore, and that's totally okay. Uh, we're going to do a drawing and then another drawing right after the last song to see who gets to do um, a guest show with me. Do I have the timing right on that? And then the, okay, okay. So we'll do, um, okay, all right, here we go. Yeah, for a shirt. Closing my eyes. I'll let you hold it this time if that's right. And I'm handing Enja the name. It's for one of whatever Drum Talk TV t shirt you want or a woman's shirt with whatever saying. And the winner is. Drum roll. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, we can do that. What's the name? <laughs> Greg. Greg Pachowski? Ah, Greg Pachowski, who uh, coincidentally suggested a Genesis song, which is the next song, um, but I'm not going to play that song. I'm going to play something that goes way back. That's a great song, by the way. Greg, thank you for suggesting that. Uh, this is the instrumental part of Firth of Fifth. This is the instrumental part of Firth of Fifth. Should we do one more drawing and then the last grand drawing after this song? Should we do that? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. One more shirt. Oh, okay, she and, and, and just stirring up the pot. <laughs> well, that didn't come out right. Well, yeah, not that kind of pot. And she's not cooking right now either. She's stirring up the names in the hat. So if you follow Drum Talk TV, thank you. If you're not signed up for our newsletter, please sign up for our newsletter. There's a sign up button on the Facebook page. A new newsletter just went out. If you sign up, you'll still get the newsletter. Thank you so much for all this. I really wanted to play everything she does by UK featuring Terry Pozio, but that recording was horrendous. So we're going to pick one more name, then I'm going to do some Genesis, maybe an encore, maybe. Okay, I'll read it. This one, yes. So the name is... <laughs> oh, my God. Same last name, Joyce Petrowski. We had Greg Petrowski. Now, Joyce Petrowski, by the way, if you're not a drummer, there are shirts for non-drummers. Drum Talk TV shirts, that's great. If you leave me now, you take me away the day. Oh, that's what Joyce suggested by Chicago, but I already played Chicago, and the song has almost no drums, but it's a beautiful song. <laughs> all right, she's going to show it, so you all know I'm not just making up names or picking my bros, but I happen to know Greg and Joyce. There you go. And their son, Alex. There you go. All right. We're going to do some really great stuff here. I don't know if I'll be great, but the song's great. I thought I had it queued up for the instrumental part. I'm going to skip a bunch of the beginning, just so you're all not bored, not that Genesis is boring.
goes into um, I Know What I Like. And it's funny, because it actually had a different Genesis song queued up that featured Bill Bruford playing live. What a dum-dum. Um, so I might still do that. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to still do that. But um, let me check comments and see if anyone gives a sh or cares. Because <laughs> I have another really great drumming song queued up for Genesis. I might do that as the last one. Uh, thank you very much, Sylvan. I appreciate that. I might do one more with the for the two people that are still watching. <laughs> Just kidding, almost. Um, so let's see. Because uh, I'm worried about the recording, but I could. Yeah, and just says, you know what, maybe, I, um, you know what, I will, I will, I will. Uh, Enja has a request, and I'm going to do it. Because she loved Ginger Baker, and both Kofi and Nettie, two of his three children, have been on Drum Talk TV. Nettie's written some great books about Ginger. Uh, one or two was written with Ginger, actually, that she helped with. Almost had Ginger on Drum Talk TV, but that's when he kind of started to fall ill, so it didn't work out. And that's okay. Nettie and Kofi have been kind enough to champion a song. So here's some cream. This is probably the first cream song I ever heard as a kid, and I've never played to this version. I know I keep saying that. It's, again, to encourage you all to just make videos and send them in. Young Jack Bruce, young Eric Clapton, somewhat young Ginger Baker.
use the forever guitar solo, which I think they're playing in double time right there. So, so there's your cream, cream for the day. One more. Uh, this I got to tune my snare drum to the Bill Bruford snare for this, because Bill is playing drums while Phil is singing. Then they both play. Okay, there we go. Last one. Um, and it, there's only the last drawing left for the grand prize, right, to host a show with me? Okay, cool. We'll do that. Coming up. Are you game, folks? Are you game? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jeff Tarba. Thanks for joining us. June Hayes Durso. I went to high school with June and junior high, I believe. Yeah, junior high and high school. We go way back. All right, this is a beautiful song. Um, and there's an ad in three seconds, so I'm going to let the ad play and then join this song. This is 1976. This is Cinema Show, Fort Worth, Texas, with Bill Bruford playing drums while Phil Collins is singing. Then Phil goes back up on the drums, and they both play. This is some fun shizzle to dizzle. Here we go. Right there, hon. Everybody, come on. Wow. Jesus Christ, come on. The other playlist started playing.
there's a commercial right before the bam 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 all right thanks youtube for putting commercial right there all right let me click over see comments then we're we're drawing for the grand prize for those who commented on the promos their name gets printed cut out put in a hat now we're drawing for the grand prize out of breath to see who's going to co-host a drum talk tv episode with me after i take a sip of tea with my other stuff in it is the mic still on yes bear with me okay did you stir it up real good ain't you you stirred it up real good, right, hon? Yeah. Don't mess with me, hon. She's always messing with you. She's from the Bronx. What do you expect? There's Encha. Okay, you hold it. I'll look away, and I'm going to choose this one. And I have to pee. <laughs> yeah, I said that on Jump Talk TV. I have to pee. Got Dancy pee, pee, pee. Okay, who is it? Show it to the audience. And then I'm going to watch it on the screen. And uh, thank you so much, Michael. Leslie, thank you. Sylvan, thank you. And uh, I, if you all look at this, the band list, look at the band list. I'll take some requests for one encore after I read the name of who's the grand prize winner to do an episode with me on Drum Talk TV. And it's, well, first he's got a couple great suggestions from the set list that he sent him when he commented on the promo. Tempest Fugit by Yes or Fugit. Sorry, Stephen Schinder, Tempest Fugit. YYZ, if you're in Canada. YYZ by Rush and Carnival 9. Maybe all three impressions. That's from Lou. Calderola, wow. He makes awesome, clear drums, and he's a great drummer, so this will be fun. Lou. You get to be on an episode with me. I'll reach out to you. We'll plan it. We'll talk about it and all that stuff. Awesome. Here, babe. You're putting all the winners in. A, I don't have to remember all this, right? You're putting them the, putting the winners in. A, okay, good. <laughs> so, Salaberry Roberto. Abrigado, abrigado, Salaberry. Say hello to your wife as well. Hope you're both doing well down there in Brazil. Nice. Thank you. Um, so, folks, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait one more moment to see. I'm going to come out there and maybe give Encha the mic for one more story while I tinkle real quick. Then I'll do one encore song, pick a song from the list of bands that are listed in the post, and then I'll look at the suggestions, and I'll pick one that I think I can hack through pretty well right now with my trigger finger on my left hand, arthritis in both. I have to tinkle, so I'll be right back. Here's Encha to keep you company. So let's see. I wish I could see the suggestion so someone could give me a cue on what to talk about. So let's see. Hmm. Drum Talk TV. Okay. So I remember when Dan was starting to think about doing Drum Talk TV and how excited I was. Uh, he wanted to do drum lessons, and I'm sure people heard about that before. And I always said, I remember the first time I saw him do an interview, and my whole face lit up, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's it. It's the interviews. That's going to be perfect. And people want to know the backstory of all these amazing drummers. And, of course, he told me I didn't know what I was talking about. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I said, I really think that's going to be perfect. Why don't you do it? I don't know. I don't know. And then he had to ask a few other people who said exactly the Actually, same thing. Actually, I didn't ask a few other people. Two other people put in the same two cents Encha did, unsolicited. One I didn't even know. The second friend called the other who was in TV and said, no offense about the lessons, but you should really do the interviews. So what this means is Drum Talk TV was really kind of like Encha's idea, actually. So here you go. We're nine years and three months in. I'm going to look at the comments. Thanks for the great idea, Encha. Drum Talk TV has turned out pretty well. And let's see who's got a suggestion for an encore. Oh, deep in the mother load. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever played that. Um, 
Is that deep in the mother load? Is that song from Invisible Touch or Mama? Or is it from, and then there were three. See, I'm that unfamiliar with it. So I'll have to work on that and do it for a Genesis episode. Um, pick another one if you want to hear Genesis, Michael. Um, but that that's a, that's a candidate. Uh, let's see what else we got. Come on, folks. Send in a couple, or I'll just say good night uh, if, if there's no others. But I will work on Deep in the Mother Load. I will work on that so I can bring it. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, Michelle Lesser also says, uh, sending great down. Thank you. Thank you again. I love uh, the blue kit. My blue peisty color sounds would look good on that beauty. Yeah, you're right. Those are amazing symbols. I think Stuart Copeland had the first one, right, with his ride. Um Jeremy Love from Sacramento. Awesome. I'm a California boy, too. Grew up in Los Angeles. Nice. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Doesn't look like it. So we might be saying goodbye if there's no other. Uh, Andrew says, great. Then you can celebrate your birthday. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do that. So everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this wasn't like a dig me celebrate my birthday with me. It was more like a, hey, I want to share my musical influences from the 52 years that I've been drumming of my 59 years on this planet. Because I started when I was seven on my birthdays when I got my first drum set. So I was 52 years ago. I'm 59 today as this is being broadcast if you're watching the archive. Uh, thanks for hanging through some of the technical garbage that goes on. We live up in the mountains. It's not always reliable. Um, and so, yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for following what we do. I don't see any other suggestions. I'll wait literally 60 more seconds. I'm going to time it on my phone, see if there's any other suggestions. And on your market set, look at the set list, though. There we go. Look at the look at the band list in the post. And please contribute to the American Diabetes Association Drumming Away Diabetes. That's my own campaign and, and Drum Talk TV's name that I created. So I got my sensor right here on my arm. I was diagnosed with diabetes uh, almost three years ago. Wow. July of 2019. Let's do a reading, in fact, and see what it is. See how the numbers are. I got my app on my phone. All I got to do is scan that little sensor on my arm. Oh, it's good. It's 135. For me, that's really good. You can see that it's gone down since I started playing. Awesome, awesome. Okay. And we're going to look at the timer. What'd you say? Oh, and just says it's time to party. Hey, Paul's page, thank you so much. I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. Thank you for joining me, even if it's on the archive, not on the. Thank you so much. And um, thank you. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bye. Happy birthday, Dan. <laughs> and just says, Happy birthday, Dan. <laughs> Thanks.